Welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio here today. This is unprecedented. You've asked for more videos. We released one yesterday and then we're still carrying on with work here. We thought we'd release another one today so that you've got something else to look at. We did say yesterday that my next video would be on this Japanese maple, but we've had one that's just jumped the queue a little bit. So over here, you'll see the large Katsura group. Now, we did a video a few months back on uh, creating group plantings and uh, we use this as an example to show people this is Ace Martum Katsura and they leaf quite early we showed you one yesterday it was already in leaf this one's been out on the bench and it's just starting to break bud so another week or two it'll be too late to pop this tree we've gone from a couple of days ago having like minus six degrees at night and about six or eight inch of snow so today it being sunny and about 10 degrees so it's it hasn't really slowed the trees down much at all that snow and the cold snap they're still raring to go this group was put together about 30 years ago by my father Harry Tomlinson it was assembled from individual trees that we imported uh, from Korea at that time um, it's one of the most stunning groups we have here it gets a lot of comments and for that reason we do keep it out on display on our benches so that any visitors customers to the nursery can admire it and have a look at it in the flesh so i've just spent the last hour or so pruning back the top of the tree taking back some long shoots and trimming off any dead stubs i've left a little bit undone this branch here so I'm just going to show you how to prune that and, but I know you might not be able to see it very well so I've custom made a bit of cardboard look and I'm not as stupid as I look I've made that like that and we'll hook it over that branch and I'm hoping if I do that the camera will be able to see that a little bit clearer so is that better Josh? Yeah uh, Josh has given me a thumbs up behind the camera so and he's pressed record today so we're doing really well we're off to a good start so it's a Sunday here we're open at the nursery we've had quite a few people coming up buying compost and pots getting ready for the season so just in between customers this tree's just been in here waiting so you see what I'm doing I've just trimmed this section here this next section here I'm just going to shorten it back to one internode this one back into here 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 just taking it back to a bud this little shoot here I don't really want that one at all and take that one off this one shorten it back here to here and to that little shoot same with this one just taking back some of these tips shortening it back little dead stub there look see the little white bit there from before that just wants cutting off and these can just be shortened little dead stub in there wants neatening up and this has got some lichen on it on the branches of our fresh clean air in nottingham it's putting out a bit of that it's a little bit of it's okay but you don't want too much of it so if it gets too thick you can just rub it off with a pair of scissors or with a uh, with a wire brush or something take these little dead stubs out shorten this back hopefully you can see this is in 4k so if you can set your put your settings on 4k you should be able to see this fairly clearly the pruning process so I've trimmed it back to a board then we can stand back a little bit this is still growing up a little bit too much look these ones here in thinking back are perhaps a little bit too long so let me take them back further to that board and then there's a few in here there's a little dead stub in here this bit's crossing this branch this one's a bit long and that board here there and there so a little bit of a tidy up like that on the tree let's get rid of that look it's just falling down between the branch yeah. so a good clean sharp pair of scissors we've tidied that up we've taken out these dead stubs we'll have another check of it once it's potted now what we wanted to do was show you a repotting process on this tree it's quite a mammoth group a lot of people you know, it's been one of the largest groups a lot of people seen it was repotted maybe about three years ago or so and in that time you can see here look it's ready for repotting you see it's pushing itself up out the pot and there's a root here look there's about three mil thick so that's a new root yeah and that's circling along this edge can you see these coming along here and it's really pushing itself up on these corners it's not so bad in the middle but obviously the roots come out to the edge start just going around the edge 
with it being a rectangle it's lifting here on the corner but because this comes into leaf so early you know I think last year it came into leaf uh, just so quickly and I didn't get time to do it so it's imperative we do it this year so it's gone to the top of my uh, my list of trees to do so while I've got a few minutes spare we're going to just take it out of this pot and show you the repotting process on this particular tree so we're going to go and get Dave so he can give me a hand uh, to get it out of the pot because it is a it's a two-man job not a one-man job and then uh, we'll show you how we go on okay so we're going to repot this mammoth group first thing of all is check to see if it's wired in or not we'll just tilt it back you see it is actually it is actually wired in I must have wired it in last year when I, or a few years ago quite a lot of roots on these root hole on these drainage holes you can see mass of root here look we did say didn't we that it was ready for repotting so that's that's about right so lower it back down Dave okay. so a lot of people aren't sure with groups like this when you repot them whether you take the trees apart a group like this that's established where these the trees have been together for 30 years you're never going to divide them and you shouldn't be doing anyway all these roots that it's put on are generally all around the edge so we need to take this out as one piece and then we can work the edge of it so we'll try these are quite substantial trees quite heavy trunk and the smooth bark so there's no risk to actually hold the trunk on these trees so if we lift these trees on the front edge like this and then just ease it out and just tilt it up so you can have a look just hold it there Dave see the roots there there's not actually there's a lot of density in the middle but there is quite a lot of density on the edge and particularly at these corners so that's what wants addressing so if we just lift it up are you lifting it up and i'm getting the pot yeah, yeah. I'm table the turntable underneath it let's just move that turntable right to the edge move the group over it a little bit more like that yeah. and the easiest way to, to do this is to cut through it with a reciprocating saw for ease of ease and speed the other way is just to comb all these roots out will take quite a bit of time and this uh, this lumpy circling root on the corner we definitely don't need so we're gonna we're gonna start off just with a bin under the table was potted into a mixture of uh, a mixture of molar clay and akadama at the time we did it so we've not managed to import any molar clay for the last few years so this is probably this is probably, what do you reckon Dave about four years yeah. about four years ago judging by the, the compost quite wet today because all the snow has melted so everything we're working on today is is a little bit uh, soggy and, mess and messy. Let's see if we can go back to the store for this. So, we've pretty much gone all the way around the edge. Next thing with this is to spend a little bit of time teasing out these uh, getting these weeds off the surface this is quite a big tree so once it goes up on the bench on display you, you can't really get to it you've got to decide to physically lift it down to weed it so these are just a few weeds and moss that have grown over autumn and winter so we'll try and get those those off and tidy it up and any little roots to come the surface can be taken off there is some surface roots under here look and the base of these trees does flare out there's a little bit of nabari there that's been covered up 
by the soil and the weeds so it's worth a little bit of a investigation just to clear that out of the way doesn't take too long so we're just going to go around it came it out like this be careful around the base of the trunks you know i do use a, a root hook most of the time your best tool to, for this is probably a, a wooden chopstick because if you've got a metal root hook on these roots you can take the bark off the reason i'm using this root hook is i've used this one for years and it's not got much of a point on it so if you but if you're using a new one it would potentially be too too damaging so we'll just spend a, we'll spend a few minutes doing this and then we'll come back and show you it when it's all combed out and uh and ready for repotting so me and david spent about 20 minutes off screen just combing this out can you see how neat this looks around here we've exposed the base of some of these trees these main trees lot of come around this side look at the nabari on here really quite nice you can't see it too clear because it's still still muddy and wet but as this dries out look here the base of this a lot of this was covered up with the the weeds and the moss but it's an important thing to do on an established group like this a lot of people get too concentrated on just cutting this back and we've spent the majority of these 20 minutes um basically tidying up around these bases and also getting rid of sort of just thatch of root that is in this area if you don't address that you're never going to show the roots off this will just get taller and taller and taller let me see if i can show you what i mean so around here look we've raked through between these trees and you're left with this sort of stuff and it's really it's a bit tricky because you need to sort of get in there with scissors and sort of feel your way around and cut out this sort of thatch of root that it's, the trees have been sending out and this is just going from like one tree to another look and it's just a matter of it's quite a laborious process we've spent you probably spend more time sort of investigating and cutting this stuff out than you do cutting this edge because this edge quite easy to see what you're doing whereas here you have got to tread a little bit more carefully because you're trying to sort of show off surface roots and try and get into the base of these trees so it's actually the hardest job and it's also it's a job that i think a lot of people wouldn't even consider wouldn't even wouldn't even address so it is quite important to get rid of this thatch so that we're going to be able to get water into it better fresh compost around it and we've probably took about about half an inch or three quarters of an inch of of soil level out between these trees just by this this procedure so we've been doing that quite a lot you know and it's taking a little bit out and that's using a root hook and using a stiff brush just to came out sections push sections out you see there's some fluffy bits in here to the right of this trunk they can be just taken back now so we can get down to the base you can see here look you get under it with some scissors and start to lift it there's a heavy root here look that's crossing over let's get rid of that so now we'll uh We'll, we'll tip on the side and see if we can just take a, a bit of a slice off the bottom of it, Dave. What do you reckon? Yeah. Let's we'll lean it over that way. Just try and take a little slice off the bottom of it. And the blade actually on this saw, the advantage of using it is obviously the vibrational blade sort of jiggles some of this acid armor around and it, it falls off a little bit easier and then we can see what we've what we've got. And then once it's done that we can go in with scissors. There's the old the old mesh over the drainage holes. Work way around the edge. Ideally, you want to take it sort of 
half an inch off the bottom of here so that that's going to allow us to incorporate you know half an inch of new Akadama beneath the group for it to go into quite a lot of scissor work under here do you want to bring it over take them off keep the fine fibrous feeder roots you can see this sheet here up just dropping down so just try and get through it with scissors so a little bit more working like that around the tree to get it prepared a little bit underneath a little bit of um, combing out mesh under this side there's a little bit of wire there so get that cut out it's well rooted through that and these these greenwood scissors that we use and sell you know, 30 years I've never found a scissor that's good as good for doing this root work I've used these no, Japanese scissors quite a lot They've got a long blade on, we think they'll be better, but they're actually not as comfortable in the hand and not as sort of powerful and direct as using these. And these are also a lot, I think you buy about eight pairs of these for the cost of that Japanese pair. So when you're cutting, when you're using these, you're cutting through roots and soil and stones and, you know, potentially the odd bit of wire, you know, they're really useful. They're sort of made for that job. So they, they take quite a bit of bit of abuse at this time of year because we solely pretty much solely use them for, for root work this sort of work so we'll do a little bit more and then we'll come back in a minute and show it you when it's ready for the pot okay so we've finished working these roots and in real time we've spent about an hour doing that and um, combing them all out making it look tidy and um, we prepared the pot with new mesh we have put a wire in just to secure it. We're not 100% sure it will need it, but it's, uh, it will not as well while we're doing it. But I'm just going to pop it into the back of armour. And it's deceiving how much soil we might need in the pot at this size. So I think we'll just we'll go for the full bag of acid armour, look. Get it out into those corners. We'll see how that's going to look. Might be a little bit too much, I'll just take a little we'll get a scoop for out of there, but get the tree. We're gonna sort of settle it down into the soil a little bit, like that. That's gonna be a little bit too high. Let me just scoop some of that out a little bit. Just a little bit lower than that, if we can. Sure little bit of little bit of trial and error, and then try and always set it in a bit proud, and then sort of just rotate it like this, sort of squish it down onto the soil. Now, have a little look from the side. We're quite close to the front of the pot, but we're also we're quite close to the back, so we've not got a lot of a lot of leeway there. It could probably just move back four or five mil like that, and then. We can fill in with some acid armour. Just to see how much it's gonna, gonna get from it as it comes around here. 
drift it in up to these roots. Got another little bag down here. Nice little touch. This is a we said earlier this is a group that my father put together 30 years ago and this is his bonsai shovel. I've known this for 45 years this shovel and it all fell apart and I've just had a new handle turned uh, made out of yew wood for the shovel so the shovel can continue on so we're using my dad's old old shovel to do the akadama on a group that he put together over over 30 years ago a little bit of work on the edge of here now just go round it with a potting stick or chopstick just to work this soil in around the edge of the root wall and then this will be good now for another sort of well we think it was four years this time so might have born to doing a year sooner so I think a sort of three or four year uh, repotting schedule for this tree in reality is probably about right get a little bit more in around here like I can say this wire is not going to do much but it's just going to stop it sliding about too much and in summer once it's established we can cut that wire off anyway just get a little bit of that in there. I don't want to put much soil back into this centre area because that's where we've spent a lot of time taking away all that thatched growth. But just a little bit as a top dressing just to give some continuity through. You know, these trees in our climate, these it'll end up growing moss on it. I'm not going to plant moss on it at this moment in time. But a lot of you will do and can do. wire I can send that through behind these trees like that now this one down to this edge put it nice and tight Just hold the wire, put it with the pliers, just pull and twist to take up the slack. Like that. It's quite a long length of wire, we can do another little bit. Tighten it up a little bit at that mid section as well. Like that. And then trim off. Trim off the excess. Just push that down like this so we don't really don't really see it that much a little bit of acadama over there look, just to hide it so, don't want to fill it up too much we want to show off show off these surface roots so it's took about they took an hour and a half in all in all uh, probably two hours with the pruning actually to lift this in, get it pruned, get it repotted. A few little wispy roots just sticking up, they can just tidy up. So, because it's still quite quite mild now, and the cold snap's gone in here in the UK, this will just go straight back outside tonight. It's going to be about uh, probably about a low of seven degrees tonight, so that's not an issue. It will go out onto the bench, we'll get it watered. We need to put a little bit of wound sealant on a couple of these cuts there was a couple of branches that I took off this 
earlier up in here and I just cover those cuts up with a bit of black balsam wound sealant there's a couple up there and there's well I took a, an ugly root off on the base of this one just dab a little bit on there as well it's quite a good colour match with the bark as you can see as you put it on it blends in quite nice so we can't really tell too much like that so a lot of people have always asked us how you repot a, a group of this sort of size so we thought we'd we'd do a little video show you how to do it and uh, it's, this group's always here on display for those of you that come to the nursery uh, and enjoy it in its spring and autumn colour and uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching and take care